Teach is to learn twice. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Job from Jordan Wine Estate. We've got a farm in the Salambosch, in Salambosch Cliff. Very secluded area just outside of Salambosch. We've got our little own valley there. About 170 hectares of property itself. And at the moment, only a 110 on the plantings of, of vines. We're about five, five degrees cooler than the rest of Salambosch. It's a complete different area than the rest of Stellenbosch. Because of the cooler influence from the ocean, we start our vintage very late. So harvest is about two weeks later than the rest of Stellenbosch. And it gives you a longer ripening season. And that slow ripening gives you more intense fruit and just so much more flavor. So the Nyon Chardonnay is on, right on top of the farm. It's actually facing south, southeast, facing false by. We've got this constant cool breeze blowing onto the vineyards. Just gives it very late ripening, only in March. It's almost a, the last white wine in Stella Marsh to be harvested. And it's perfect block every year. We select the best 40 barrels and that um, ends up in the nine yards. So, because we taste through about 300 barrels every year and it takes about two months to taste through all the barrels. I think Richard Branson to, said to Gary, the owner one, one day that you actually go the whole nine yards to make this wine. Uh, no, Gary met him at the tasting in London. One day, yeah. Nine yards Chardonnay. That's where it's from. Yeah, so this is typical Salamot Chardonnay. Very intense lime, citrus. There's a bit of butterscotch, it goes through mallow in the barrel. Yeah, and this wine just shouts Salamot. Yeah, it's our, our flagship Chardonnay. So you prefer to have a nice light lamb or anything buttery, um, like a very creamy pasta or fish, or just for breakfast. I prefer to have a glass before I eat my cereal. So. <laughs> you make sure you eat the hamburger at Jordan. It's a very good, good hamburger on the, on the farm, and then the, it will taste much better. The stalemo is just more of the, the riper fruit style, but not warm. Stalemo is just more crunchy, ripe fruit, more that limey, zesty, riper salt, some of the tropical flavors coming through. We leave the wine on the lees for nine months and every week we roll the barrels. There's no sulfur added to the wine, so no preservative in the, in the whole stage of the wine. And we, because we roll it once a week, we stir that lees up and give you that full buttery, big mouthful that you get now. Uh, most people open the bungs and then they stir the wine up, the batonage it, but that method gives you a lot of oxygen. There's oxygen sitting on the stick you use to batonage. So we like to call it the James Bond method, shaken not stir. It's like a good martini. <laughs> That's definitely a Shana joke. No olives though. <laughs> so Colosseal is our other flagship. It's a border blend. Cabernet Merlot, Cab Frank, and a bit of Petit Vido. This block was planted right next to the owner's father's house. And he used to own a shoe factory in Wellington, so all the people working in the farm always used to call it the Schoenmakers uh, Built, and that's uh, the Cobbler's Hill, and that's where the name is from. It's not made traditional style like the other Bordeaux's. It's zesty fruit, it's more lively. It's not too over oaked as well. We taste through the cellar and we select the best Cabernet, the best Merlot, Cab Franc, um, Petit Vido, and the blend changes every year. It's not the same at all. So our aim is to make a wine that will last and a wine that can age for up to 10 to 15 years. And that's why it's slightly lower pHs, slightly higher acid. Not, it's not a new old Bordeaux blend, it's a more old world, um, more old world South Africa Bordeaux style. So this is obviously Cabernet dominant, so there's a lot of cassis black currant, a little bit of Merlot of the plums coming through, and then it Hint of cassis blackcurrant leaf from the Cabernet Franc. There's a hint of this, almost like a blueberry that lifts the fruit from the Petit Vidot. 
airing follows through on the mid palate and it gives you a lovely acidity right in the finish. finish. Because of the acidity, it can actually handle a bit of spice. So I would actually say the booty will work 100%. This year has been a tough one with COVID and the coming back from the drought, but now we had lots of rain. Just to keep in mind, all the winemakers were locked in the cellars. So they spend all their time in the cellars, not next to the oceans. So they worked especially hard this last year to make the best wines. This coming festive season, spend some time, get some good white wine, come to the farm, enjoy our restaurants, bakery, got them with accommodation on the farm. Just keep your social distancing and we're all, we're all fine. Enjoy the, the festive season. Cheers.